Chapter 8 Code Converters, Multiplexers, and Demultiplexers Comparators They compare two binary strings. There's a digital comparator type. They compare bit by bit. It outputs a 1 if they are exactly equal. This type of comparator also uses exclusive NOR gates, evaluating two 4 bit numbers. We'll see this in this figure. Each exclusive NOR checks for equality. So it outputs 1 if A0 equals B0, A1 equals B1, A2 equals B2, A3 equals B3. The comparator is also a magnitude comparator where A equals B, A is greater than B, or A is less than B. This is shown in figure 812. This type of device has three types of outputs. The A equals B, A is greater than B, or A is less than B. From four bit, two four bit inputs, the A input and the B input. This is also a different type. Uh, you can take those values and use uh, it's used as a tiebreaker if the higher order inputs are equal and you attach it to your second 7485 chip to correct that. In decoding you convert some code to a binary output. This is seen here. You take your BCD input, your 1101, your 1110 I mean, your LSB to MSB, take it through the decoder and convert it to your output level, which is 7 in this case. A zero one 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 level equals seven. Is the truth tables for your octal decoder? This is what you just saw. You take your input and your output follows in the exact same fashion. Your input, say your input equaled three zero one one. So three should have a one in it, which it does. This is an active high output, and the same thing goes for an active low, except the 3 is not at 1, it is a 0 instead. In decoding, this is a complete octal decoder. This is seen in the next slide, figure 8-10. It's a 1 of 8 decoder. You can have 3 line to 8 line decoders, and there are also decoder ICs available. This is your complete octal decoder. You have your 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, and 2 to the 2, and your inputs and outputs follow 0 to 7. These are some values for your decoder ICs. The most commonly used that we'll use is either the 74138 or the 74154, the 1, 1 to 16 hex decoder. This is the pin configuration for the 74138. The BCD decoder, the 7442, is shown here. With its truth table, you have your four inputs, your A's, and your 1 through 9 output, or 0, th zero through 9 output, your 10 bit output. In your 74154 hexadecimal 1 to 16, you again have your enables, your 4 bit inputs, and your 0 through 15 outputs, decoding exactly what the input says. In encoding, it's the opposite process from decoding, used to generate a coded output. In this example, you have the decode decimal to BCD converter. It takes the decimal input and converts it to BCD. Or you have the octal input to binary output. You can also hook up an encoder to a decoder to check your values are coming out correctly as well. This is an example of a decimal to BCD encoder along with the inputs being that you have the um, 1 through 9 inputs, your 8 inputs, and your 4 output levels. In encoding, you have an octal to binary encoder as well as your last type, 
the 74148 is eight active low inputs and three active low outputs as shown here. In code converters, you convert a coded input into another form, such as a computer program or an integrated circuit hardware style type. The BCD to binary conversion has a weighting factor of 10. This is shown here with its uh, bit position versus decimal weighting factor, which increases by a factor and your binary as well which increases. And these are examples of code converters your 74184 chip used to convert from BCD to binary. You have a BCD to 7 segment converter as well uh, it's a 4 bit BCD into a 7 bit uh, code to drive display segments this code is sometimes gray code. This is used to in indicate angular position of rotating shafts. It varies by one bit from one entry to the next. This is a table of the conversion from decimal to binary to gray code. You can see the decimal value 10 in binary is 1, 0, 1, 0. Yet in 10 it is 1, 1, 1, 1. That's a different form and it applies the same way. In multiplexers is another function this chapter details with and it's funneling several data lines into a single one for transmission to another point. It's a data selector basically. So it takes the data inputs and it selects which data input it wishes to apply to its output. In a data select input codes, you have your S1, your S0, and it picks which data input you'd like to select. It's like a selection unit. And here's another example of a selection unit at work with picking which AND gate it wishes to enable, essentially, to put out to the data output line. You can get eight line multiplexers. An example of this is your 74151. This is the 74151 8 bit. Demultiplexers, on the other hand, are opposite procedure for multiplexing. It's a data distributor, a single data input routed to one of the several inputs, outputs. So this way you take your data input, which is a one bit value, and select it to one of the four data outputs, D0 through D3. This determines the destination of your data input. A dual four line demultiplexer is available. This is 74139. 74154 is another style that has four output destination selects and 16 output signals it can handle. Some system design applications using these decoders and multiplexers are a multi multi microprocessor address decoding. Uh, you use the 74138 to select bank. This means you have like eight memory banks and you wish to select one, you'll be able to select one via what number you wish to decode to the microprocessor. In this you have an encoder selecting which level sensor you wish to push through and take to the tank on the other side or to the port for the microcontroller. This is another system design application. You have a serial data multiplexing for a microprocessor. This is one serial receive line and one serial transmit line. Another thing is an analog multiplexer. This is your microcontroller receive and, and uh, send out transmit line multiplexer with a demultiplexer attached to it as well. You multiplex, which routes one of the data inputs to Y, 
and your demultiplexer routes the serial data to one of the Y outputs on the microprocessor. And lastly, the system design application, you can multiplex display application or share common ICs, components and conductors, digital bus and displays, such as this segment, seven segment display bus that attaches itself to your four seven segment display units. Some CPLD design applications using these are your comparators, decoders, and multiplexers. In summary of this chapter, code com converters, multiplexers, and demultiplexers, we can say that comparators can be used to determine a quality or which of two binary strings is larger. Decoders can be used to convert a binary code into a single singular active output, representing its numeric value. Encoders can be used to generate a coded output from a singular active numeric input line. The gray code is useful for indicating the angular position of a shaft on a rotating device such as a motor. Multiplexers are capable of funneling several data lines into a single line for transmission to another point. And lastly, demultiplexers are used to make take a single data value or waveform and route it to one of several outputs.